courtyard. This is where we have noon rec, which is recess. Also, this is where you will be meeting in the mornings. So instead of being at the playground, you'll be here. But if it's cold, you'll be in Pemberton. This is the bell door, and this is what we're under for the day. Go so up the stairs and to your right to the transportation office. If any bus or transportation questions, just come on in and ask Miss Vanessa. This is Miss Vanessa. Hi, I'm Vanessa. Come in and see me with any of your busy needs. Go up the stairs to second floor. This is second floor where most of your sixth grade classes will be. Let's go in and say hello. Hi, I'm Ms. Eckert and I teach sixth grade math along with one of the sections of English and the STEM class. Uh, for sixth graders, one thing to keep in mind as you are transitioning in, one thing to be successful is to make sure that you are getting your work done. This is Mrs. Smith's room. She teaches science, or she could be your MM. MM is a time after fourth period where you have study hall some days or other fun activities. Welcome to physical education. My name is Mrs. Smith and I will be your teacher next year. We meet every other day for 50 minutes and for only half the semester or half the year for one semester. So come with your tennis shoes and a great attitude along with effort. We'll have a lot of fun, play some games, and do some learning about fitness and the bones and muscles of the body. Mr. Hayes' room. Let's go and say hello. Hello, I'm Mr. Hayes. I teach sixth grade Minnesota history and one section of English. Um, advice for you coming into sixth grade, I would say in my classes anyway, the most important thing is to pay attention and to keep up. And if you do that, then you should end up having a very fun, productive year. This is the sixth grade hallway, and here are the lockers. And these are the bathrooms. But if you walk this way, the library is right here, and Officer, Officer Bullerman's room is right there. Hello, I'm Officer Bullerman. Welcome to Blue Earth Area. Another option to go to your classes, you can either take the stairs or this hallway. When you go down this hallway, there will be the resource room, which is Mrs. Helgeson's room. And when you get to the end of the hallway, there's stairs. Hi, I'm Mrs. Helgeson. I teach middle school special ed. Um, one thing that you should do, or some things you should do to be successful in middle school is Use a planner, stay organized, and read as much as you can. If you go down the stairs, you, ha you have reached the office. And if you go up the stairs, we will reach Ms. Hernandez's room and Mr. Kokis's room, which are both science teachers. Hello, future sixth grade students. My name is Mrs. Hernandez. I teach sixth grade earth science. I also teach one section of English. And my elective is character strong. And if I were to give you a piece of advice for the fall, I actually have three pieces of advice. The first one is be present. Be in school, be ready to learn. We do, do do activities and lessons whether or not you're here. And so if you're in the classroom, you'll hear the content and you'll be able to complete the homework. My second piece of advice is set a routine. You are going to have homework. You are going to be expected to turn it in the next day. So if you can set a routine at the beginning of the school year of when you're going to get that homework done, you will have a successful school year. And my third piece of advice is be prepared. Be prepared to have fun. In sixth grade science, we get to do a lot of activities and some hands-on activities. And so if we can get our expectations set and know what is expected, we'll be able to do those fun activities. So have a great summer and be prepared to have a great school year in the fall. At the top of the steps, there's Mr. Kokus's room. Let's go in and say hello. And then be like. Hello, I'm Mr. Kokus. I teach seventh grade life science, be a quest class and expedition class. And a couple things for you to be successful in the middle school would be to put forth effort and participate in school. So our is Ms. Albright's room. You're our teacher. Hi, I'm Miss Albright. I'm the 6th and 7th grade art teacher. 
Uh, we'll be doing lots of fun projects in sixth and seventh grade art. Something to realize and be ready for in middle school is that we need to work hard and making sure you're finishing your assignments and turning them in. And if you can do that, you'll be very successful. See you soon. If you come down these stairs, over here will be your seventh grade facts room and some of your seventh grade lockers. Good morning and hello. I am Ms. Carlson. I'm the facts teacher here at Blue Earth Area Schools. And at the middle school, we have facts six, facts seven, and facts design. Facts six and seven are required classes and facts design is an elective. And I just hope that you make the most of your middle school years and do everything you can to stay involved and active and learn as much as you can. I am actually retiring this year and so Ms. Mandler will be your new teacher next fall. So thanks and welcome. And as we round the corners, here are the bathrooms with the seventh grade halls. The way to access third floor is by taking the stairs right next to the second floor bathrooms. Let's go to see our seventh grade classrooms. Here is Miss Kaluza's seventh grade history room. Let's go in and say hi. All right, hi guys, I'm Miss Kaluza. I teach seventh grade history. And one thing for you to be successful in middle school is to uh, try to get your homework done in on time and be able to ask questions if you need some help because you can't read your minds. Happen to get these red lockers. You have two lockers that are right next to each other because they because of how small they are. And if you keep walking down this hall to this next room, this room is Miss Collis's room. She will be your seventh grade English teacher. Let's say hi. Future middle schoolers, I'm Mrs. Collis. I teach seventh grade English, but I also teach journalism and current events for sixth grade. Um, advice for you coming in, make sure that you stay organized. Find a way that works best for you. Hi, Mrs. Byer. I teach seventh grade math. One thing you can do to be successful in middle school is don't be afraid to reach out to your teachers and ask for help and communicate with them when you have any questions. Reach the end of the hallway. You can come down here to this staircase, which goes down to second floor, which Ms. Eckhart's classroom is the nearest classroom. The lobby of Pemberton Gate. One fun thing in middle school that you get to do is attend team night. These stairs is where sessions will be. Another fun thing is in the gym, we will have lots of fun while dancing, playing basketball, and many more things. This is Pemberton! Down these steps. Right here will be your band room, and down the hallway a little farther will be your orchestra room. Also, all the way down will be the fifth grade rooms. And right here is another access point to the Pemberton Gym. Hi, I'm Mrs. Abraki. I'm the band teacher here at Blue Earth Area Middle School. And my advice to all you upcoming middle schoolers is to just be yourself, always be kind, and if you're in band, don't forget your instrument. Hi, I'm Paul Johnson, Mr. Johnson to you, and um, I teach uh, 6 through 12 choir, but here at the middle school, 6th and 7th grade choir. And uh, to be a successful middle school student, I think now that you've moved up the ranks a little bit, um, being, being ready to check your email, um, having your, your Chromebook charged, um, and being, being willing to stick it out for other people a little bit, and um, you know, if you see something, say something. And realizing that if somebody's being made fun of, that maybe you should, you could have the power to stop that and try to keep a good culture in, in the middle school. I think that's something you have the power to do. Your band room. And down here is your orchestra or choir room. Here's the first floor bathrooms. Right here is the D kid door. Let's go down the hallway and later we'll find the office. Let's go say hi. Around the corner is your school social worker, Mrs. Armstrong. She is also our student council advisor, which you can run for in the fall. 
Hi, I'm Mrs. Armstrong, the school social worker and the middle school student council advisor. I'm so excited for you all to come to middle school. You're going to have a great year. This concludes our tour. If you have any questions, ask one of your teachers or Miss Armstrong. Have a great year.